Uh, well, you both look fantastic. You guys must have so much fun working together on this show. Has it been a blast? Oh. So much fun. And oh, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna tell you what. I'm just gonna get this out the way right now. It is not because this man is funny, because he's funny all day, every day. But he, I work with a man who is kind. You know, my mother always yeah. says, "You can't teach kind." Right. <laughs> I'm like. I'd like to help. You ain't say I'm as smart. Oh, you is kind. And you I'm is smart. I'm important. <laughs> <laughs> now, how yeah. did you get the name, by the way? You know, you can't just say Cedric without the entertainer. No. Nope. Yeah. So how did that come about, Cedric? Oh, it's from a long line of entertainers. My great grandfather, oh, Ezra. Oh, Lord. The entertainer. <laughs> no, no, it, actually, when I started doing comedy, I was uh you know, I got popular in St. Louis really quick, and I didn't have enough material. So I would dance, I would sing, I would do all this stuff on stage, and so a uh, guy was introducing me as a comedian, and I was like, oh, you know, call me an entertainer, because I'm not gonna just do jokes. And so when he introduced me, he was like, this guy is Cedric the Entertainer. And I went up and I had a great show, and when I came off, he said, Cedric the Entertainer. And I was like, oh, that's my name right there. So I just took it and ran with it. So did you always know you were entertaining even when you were in high school and he looked like this? <laughs> Look at you. Oh, that was a lot of that was that was that was before sunscreen. I was. Very... <laughs> I think you look very cute, and and you know the show is in its is going into its sophomore season. And Nisi, it sounds like this was a case of of art imitating life when you heard about the plot of the show. First of all, you're both from St. Louis, right? Originally, yes. and how did it, how did you hook up in the old fashioned sense of the term? Well, it was crazy. He called and said he wanted to talk to me about a project, and so I sit down and I listen. And after he pitched it to me, I was like, are you kidding me? He says, it's about a pastor who, um, it's about an R&B singer who leaves the stage to become a pastor. And I said, I used to be married to an R&B singer who left the stage to become a pastor. Really? What is happening right now? Right. 